Hi everybody, Cindy A. Lewis here. Welcome to Crafts and Games tonight. I'm so glad that you're here and we can get together on this Tuesday night. I just love crafts and games. Uh-oh, Sabrina's lost. What are you lost with, Sabrina? Anyways, uh, thank you so much for joining tonight. I'm so glad that uh, we have this time together. Um, I could start singing the song, I think. Uh, but anyway, uh, tonight we're going to be um, doing some more page layouts in this journal. This is a really fun journal and it's turned into something everybody really likes and it's such beautiful paper, so that lends to it. And then of course the unique uh, closure is fun too. So that is, uh, a really fun thing to do as an alternative using your things that maybe you would throw away or just think outside the box you know sometimes um, as to how you're going to approach uh, sewing your junk journal so anyway uh, thank you so much for being a part of my YouTube family I do want to tell you that um, this is um, subscriber appreciation month and I just love you guys so much. And you just, you know, and I'm not putting on. I'm just, you know, like so touched. Because some of the people that have posted some comments on the video for April 1st have really um, touched my heart. And I just want to say um, you are so valuable and important to me. And um I just look forward to being able to talk to you. So whenever I don't have a video up or people aren't commenting on a video, and maybe I can't get back to everybody on every video, but sometimes I'm just like, oh, I need to talk to somebody. So anyway, um, hi, Black Whisper Crafts. So glad you're here, Bex. Um, thank you so much for joining us today. I'm glad you could catch a live. Anyway, I do want to tell you guys, don't miss the um, the intro to this month. The challenge is on, and I've already started getting some pictures and some things that you guys have made, so that just makes my heart go pitter-patter. And um, thank you so much for supporting my channel, for watching my channel, for um, liking videos, for sharing them. Thank you so much for recommending to your friends. I really appreciate that. Um, this month is going to be packed. I'm just going to tell you. Oh, thank you guys. Yeah, Terry Lynn's not going to be here today. So just to let you, everyone know. Hi, Mandy. Good to see you, sweetie. How's Mary life anyways? Uh, hi, Karen. I do want to let everybody know if you've won something up to today. Um, which I haven't, we haven't pulled any winners today. Um, everything is packed and ready to go to the post office if it's not already been mailed. So even, um, National Craft Month giveaway, except for one person I haven't heard from yet. So I, and I don't have an address for them. Oh, well, you're welcome, Rochelle. We support each other here. I just want everyone to know that too. We support each other here. This is like a little family, and um, that is very important to me, and how valuable you are to me is very important that you know that. That is another reason why I do Friday giveaways, so don't ever miss Friday. I do um, National Craft Month, which is was huge, and then um, also, so to this month, it, April, is Subscriber Appreciation Month. So I'm going to be doing hidden giveaways um, off and on throughout the month. So you might not know when it's going to show up. But if you're a Patreon member or if you are in my YouTube membership, which I just opened up recently, I will give you a heads up that um, a hidden giveaway will be in a video. So just to let you know that. And then the challenge is amazing. So go to... Um, April 1st, yesterday, and uh, read all about it or watch the video. It's, it's not too, too long. And so it's going to be a fun month. But anyway, um, super chat, super stickers, those are out there if you want. Um, let's see what else is going on. Let's see. 
I'm trying to watch. Oh, <laughs> Sabrina, you have a five-year-old what you're passing on. Uh, <laughs> anyways, uh, also, I just want to take one quick moment, PSA here. Um, I will never, ever post anything that says, uh, text me your information, OU1, or let's chat about such and such. You know it's me. You'll know it's me when I tell you that. I did have somebody copy my picture and try to start posting things. And yes, Sabrina already submitted yours. And uh, Vicky from um, Crafty Mimi or something like that. She does have a channel. So um, it, I created a, if you, sh if you have a YouTube channel and you share uh, with the hashtag, I'll get the notice and I will put it in the playlist. So yeah, let me know about that, and then I'll share the other things at the end of the month. Anyway, it's going to be fun. Uh, hey, Miss Barbara. Let's see. It. Hey, Glory. We've got a big group on tonight already, so that's great. All right, well, we're going to jump in. Uh, Rochelle is going to kind of help me try to monitor the, the chat. I'm going to keep one eye on it if I can. <laughs> you know how that can be. And uh, tonight, oh, 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 wait, 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 wait. I was like, um, welcome back, Cotter. Um, I want to tell you something very exciting. So, um, some of you may have checked out, um, who was it? Um, Pam. Okay, Pam, what, the picture that you sent me, were you finished with it? Because it looked like you had just started, uh, sewing your journal. So, I wasn't, I wasn't sure. Um, okay. Um, you might have checked out Rustic Playground, um, because I shared a couple of things from her site and her Etsy shop, and she now has a membership, um, and, uh, I'm an affiliate for her, um, so if you do go over there, not only tell her Cindy A. Lewis sent you, but you can click the link that's in the description below if you sign up for any of her stuff, and I'll get a little kickback. Anyway, she has a new freebie out, and um, these are the pages. I'll show them to you in just a minute. Really, really pretty. It's called a Garden Logbook, and it's really, really, you know, it's pretty awesome. So I'll show that to you. And a special announcement, if everything goes okay, uh, we're going to have special guests next week on live, which will be Carla from Rustic Playground. So I thought it would be fun to have her here and to let you meet her and to see some of her stuff, maybe make um, something from her um, newest uh, April collection, which is a vintage kitchen. It's awesome. And so anyway, um, thought I would let you know that, and I hope that you guys will be here next week. So it'll be fun. All right, I'm going to switch the view here and go down to uh, the table. So hopefully you can see good. Got all my tools out because we're going to be working in this um, journal. I've got some things cut out already. And, um, so what I wanted to show you were the pages from her, um, newest freebie. This is a freebie. So let me just scoot down for you a little bit. Let's see if that's okay. All right. These are really pretty and I'm just going to go through them really quick. Yeah, we'll have a special guest next week, so it'll be really fun. And we're going to do the same format, except for we'll introduce her, and um, she'll get to talk to you and have her on camera. And then uh, we'll make something from her April kit, and then we'll do our game and everything. So she was really excited. Yeah. Yeah. So this is the freebie. So just so you know, um, this one doesn't cost you anything. You can go to her... Um, I think it's on her Facebook page is the link. Anyway, it's really pretty. You would have to cut it out. I mean, print it out or have someone print it for you. And, um, hi, Trish. How you doing? What color? to? Oh, our emojis tonight. Oh, if you're new, um, just, <laughs> let me just say, let me get on the screen for a minute. Okay, if you're new, we do um, a lot of chatting because um, that gets you in the drawing. The more and more you chat, the more you'll be in the drawings at the end. Um, wait, if we have a guest, do I have to behave? No, Sabrina, you guys act however you normally act. <laughs> 
<laughs> that is what is so fun about our group is we just have fun and we're family. So we just be us. That's who we are. Um, so the color, um, one of the things is, is, you know, we don't always know what to say or whatever. So for our colors tonight, we're going to have blue and yellow. So blue and yellow. Those are our emoji colors. So if you have an emoji, emoji, blue and yellow, blue and yellow. So thanks for asking, Karen. All right. Glad I saw that one. Blue and yellow emojis tonight. Okay. So back to this really quick. I just want to show you the pretty pages. Um, if you have suppliers, she's got a place here for you to put their information, their shop, their address, their telephone, etc. Um, seasonal to-do list. So if you want to make a journal that would um, help you to like when to plant such and such or whatever like that. And then this one is your page that um, how you started your plants and the information if you purchased them. So you could print more than one of those, I imagine. Hey, Denise. And then your layout, if you want to use a grid to do your layout uh, for your garden planting, she's got that in here. Isn't this cool? And this was free. Yes, just saying. And then she's got some beautiful vintage photos in here. And then what to do Saturday and Sunday priorities. And I printed that twice. And then um, what is the normal you speak of? Uh, just be you. Be real. Be authentic. Be you. That's who I am. That's who you be. That's what we do here. We're just us. We're not perfect. So you're at a glance and we're not trying to be. We're just trying to be fun, have a good time, and talk to each other and build relationships, right? Uh, get inspired and get inspired. That's the other thing. All right. So then she's got uh, January, February, all the way to the end of December. So little month calendars that you can fill in. So this is a really cool little giveaway freebie on a rustic playground site. So I do think it might, the link might be on, um, Facebook, but if you can't find it, let me know and I'll send you the link so you can can get it. Again, if you want to sign up for any of our stuff, let me know because um, I'm affiliate. All right. Okay, so we're going to go to this now. And I'm trying to keep track with you guys. Ooh, the envelopes are cute blue. I didn't know they were blue. Yeah, yeah, it's very pretty. I didn't link it below because it's really not my freebie. It's it's hers, so you, know, you want to go to her site to get it. Hey, Alice. Alice was cracking me up earlier today. All right, so um, on here, hopefully you can see it okay. Let me bring it up to you a little bit. I did add a little bit after. If you didn't see the end of part two, I kept working and um, after I cut off the video, so then I did come back and share it at the very end. But if some people aren't watching, you know, they wouldn't see that. Um, and sometimes there's bloopers, so don't ever, you know, like not go to the end. At least, you know, fast forward. <laughs> you never know when there's going to be a blooper. All right. So anyway, um, this a charm I put on here, it's just a little, like, key. And um, I thought it needed just a little something more. So inside, this is where we are right now. Um, we did this page and I gave it a little strength uh, with some uh, scrap bug paper here from that um, pad. And the pad is uh, Knitwit Kindly Thoughts. It's really pretty paper, actually. It's really, really, really pretty. And I'm loving all the blue you guys are finding. Blue and yellow, very cool. All right, so then I added this envelope, put a little card in here. Could, you could put more. I mean, you could definitely do a little bit more. Added some leaves, added this beautiful sticker here. Um, and then on this page, I added a little pocket, just a little journaling card, did a little stamp there. Um, just decorated it a little bit, did a little embellishing, I guess. I always want to say decorate, which decorate and embellish is kind of the same thing, but it's not really in the uh, journal world. <laughs> anyway, all right, so then I did make a little um, tag here and a belly band. 
and put a butterfly and a flower on that page. And then on the back page, I just did some decoration, just kind of played around. I was just having fun. And then this is a pocket here, so it could hold um, something there. Anyway, that's what I did already. Do you use cardstock or just paper? Okay, for which thing, Patty? So this is made from an envelope. So the cover is from a manila envelope, just a six by nine envelope. Is that what you mean? It's our journal world. That is right. That is right. And so then I added some papers. These are scrapbook papers that I added to the front and the inside cover to give it a little strength. Now there's another journal I want to do that I saw Paper Terrace do, and I, I've done one similar, but not quite as, I like really pretty, as she did. So I am going to do that this month as well, and it's a no-so with signatures, so you'll like it. Decorating is a good word to use. Yeah, so see, you know. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Uh, simple envelope. Yes, this this is how it started. I'm so glad that you're here, Debbie. I, not because there's severe weather, though. I did hear that they might get, like, feet of snow in the Northeast. We had, we had some severe weather um, forecasted, but we didn't really have too much here. Yeah, so uh, Nettie, so the tags, um, I made two tags, this tag here and this tag here, and then um, the, you know, like the string, I use string and, or twine instead of um, ribbon, but you could use ribbon, and I just glued it down, and then that's my closure to tie it closed. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So this is a little tuck spot here and it can be, um, thank you. And you can tuck anything in there. I mean, you can tuck whatever you want. I mean, just, you know, yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Lori. Okay. I'm trying to watch too. Okay. So the next thing that I want to do was, uh, to do some more um, page layouts and some embellishments. So I'm going to go ahead and skip over. This is the middle. So let's see, let's do one, two, three. Let's do one, two, three. Some of these pages are not the same size. And this is just, um, it, they call it rice paper from Timu, but I don't know if it's really rice paper. I think it's, it's more like drawing paper to me. All right, so here I have um, five pages. This is pretty thin, um, to be honest. That's why sometimes I'll add more um, to it to give it some strength so it doesn't tear or anything. But what we're going to do right now is we're going to do a waterfall pages. Have you guys done that? I showed it once before, but only once. Cow theme journal. How, how cute. Was challenging? Ah, okay. So I'm going to give you guys, um, because you're on here tonight, I'm going to give you some choices. Um, sewing journal theme, steampunk theme, or angel theme. What, what would you like to see next? Going to Texas to watch the eclipse? Are we not going to see it, Alice, here? I got some of those glasses. Anyway, okay, so for a waterfall, you're going to be trimming your pages. So you need some pages in, in order that are going to be the same size, okay? So we're just going to start here and work our way backwards. Let's see, this is the middle, so we're going to start right here. And all you need is decide how um, wide you want your papers, and they're going to just be glued to the edges um, to, to create the idea of a waterfall. So I'm just going to, oh, I wanted to, 
while I'm doing this, while I'm talking, I'm just going to go around these um, a bit and vintageize them, ink them. Everyone has different um, ideas of what to call it. It is inking. It is um, aging it, making it look distressed or whatever, older, but I like vintageize. What about my part of Oklahoma, Alice? Will it be in my part? <laughs> oh, okay, so I cut some three quarter inch pieces and these are all uh, eight inches long, which is the, the height of my page. Oh my goodness, you're kidding. I know there's certain places that the eclipse is going to be really prevalent. And I don't know, how long does it last? Like five minutes or does it last longer? I'm not in the know on this. I'm just not. It's coming right over you. Okay. Wow. Well, I think that's pretty cool. I love astronomy and science and stuff. Yes, I do. All right. So for our waterfall, you just have to pick your, your piece that you want to go on the very edge of your page. So I'm going to put some glue. Oh, okay. Boo. I'm not going to be going. I have to work that day. I don't even know what time it's supposed to be, but I'm going to try to see it anyways. Yeah, Lori, I heard Arkansas. Okay, so all I'm going to do right now is I'm going to I'm gonna show you the easiest way. So I'll cut it a little bit shorter, but that's okay. Okay, this is the first of my waterfall page. I'm going to make sure where you can see. Funnels were spot. Oh, yeah. Hi, Regina. It starts at 1.30. Oh, that's a long time. Is it 1.30 Central? Because we're Central. Right, Lori? We're both in the same time zone. All right, so you're going to glue this here. Waterfall, waterfall, going back to waterfall. Okay, so now the next one I'm going to cut right here. You see that line? So I'm just going to cut this page. And all I did was just rub my finger on it so I could see where that would be. It doesn't have to be perfect because you can go over a little bit with your paper. All right, so the next one I want is to be right here. So I'm going to glue this one right on the edge of this. So it's going to kind of overlap a little bit so you can see the next page. Because that's what you want to do. You want to be able to see the next page, um, which is creating that effect. So I'm just going to glue this here. And this is really thin paper, so I don't know that I would necessarily recommend it for your whole journal, but so let's see. It is really, really fragile paper. So maybe it is rice paper. I don't know. Homemade rice paper is pretty strong. All right. I'm not happy with how this is going on here. I'm trying to be careful. This glue does stick really quick, and so I'm glad that I can get this on here. All right, so we're going to put it right on the edge. There we go. All right, so you can see, you're starting to see, because you'll see the next page. So this one, you're an hour ahead of me. I did not know that. Okay. All right, so I'm just going to follow where that previous piece is that I glued on. Oop, I'm on the wrong page, this one. Okay, then I'm going to just cut that off. And I'm just trying to show you the simple, easy way to do this. You could, you know, do a bunch of measurements and a bunch of math like uh, Sheila really likes, you know. <laughs> All right, so the next I'm going to go with this piece here. It's a really fun, it's really unique and fun, and uh, I thought, you know, you guys would like that in this journal. 
And so we're just gonna put that on here. And then these pages, I mean, you can decorate, you can embellish them, you can put um, whatever you like on them, but I think of them almost more like journaling pages and everything. So then I'm gonna do one more, and I'm gonna go right here, and all I'm doing is just rubbing my fingernail. I mean, if you don't have a fingernail, that's okay. You can just um, put a little pencil line or something. You just need to know approximately where to cut so to create that effect, the waterfall. Central time. Um, it must be about 1230, Nettie. Um, I just don't know like what we'll be able to see of it. You're going to stay inside. Um, I got the glasses, but I'll probably, knowing me at work, I'll be in a meeting or something. <laughs> 1230. I need to check. I'm not usually in a meeting on Mondays at 1230. So I'm going to trim this one. This page is just a tad bit smaller than the others. All right. Okay. So then this creates the waterfall effect. So when you come to your pages and you flip over, then you can see you just have this little waterfall kind of. You see what I mean? So if you, you know, waterfall. <laughs> uh, um, you, somebody said the dollar stores might have them. I just ordered off of Amazon for like six bucks and got like five pairs or something. Okay. All right. So that's that one. Then I wanted to show you another one. Oh, I didn't even hear it, Debbie. Where was it? I haven't heard the news. And honestly, I did sleep through a lot of the rain. I heard it, but I was so tired. My husband stayed up, so I figured, well, he would tell me if I need to get up. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, it's really cool. All right, so the next thing, I want, I'm not going to do anything with the center right this minute. So the next thing I wanted to show you is really kind of a cool thing if I can make it work right. So we'll see, okay? All right, um, so what I wanna do on this page is I want to um, take a little bit of um, like a script. Let's see, did I get a, how about let's do this? Let's just do it this way. Let's just glue a little piece on here from my uh, dictionary, dictionary page because I really do want um, some strength with this and that might help. So what I'm gonna do is just, um, just go over this dictionary page. It is, it is already a, a pretty old um, page and fragile. But I'm um, going to just give it some color, just not in the middle. And then we're going to glue it on. I'm going to show you what I want to try to do here. All right. Now, this, again, is pretty thin paper, so we'll see if it works. All right. So we're just going to glue this on. And I think I'm not going to go with the wet glue today with the full page because I want it. It's not that I don't. I trust it to stick, but I don't want it to seep through everything. That makes sense. And this is really good. Yoohoo glue, glue stick. It's really great, um, especially even for, you know, your vellum page. So we're just going to see where we want to glue this on. Okay. Then I want to trim off the excess. So we're going to do that. You guys are going to like this. You might have seen it before, but I'm not sure. It's sort of more of a, a decorative, um, but I think you'll like it. Okay, so push that down. But giving it this little bit of extra will help. All right. All right, so we're doing some page layouts today. All right, so here we are. Um, got that little help here to give it stain. 
So I think some just don't get excited about the um, the uh, eclipse. All right, so what I want to do is I just want to cut a little bit out. So I'm just going to get my, let me see, here we go. I'm just going to get my, um, I'm just going to use my little pad here. And I'm just going to take a little cut. And I don't care if it's exactly straight. And I'm just going to cut around it. And we're making like a little uh, frame. Okay. And if it tears a little bit, that's okay too. All right, here we go. Nice. Okay, we'll keep that. Maybe we need that. All right, so. So now we've got this little frame here. And I do want it to have almost like it was burnt. Maybe I should have used the scorched timber. Anyway. And I, it's not torn looking, but that's okay. All right, so we've got that now. So then... Then I want to go and I want to do the same thing on this page, but I'm going to make a little bit smaller um, hole. Kind of like you're peeking through a window. Okay, so we're just giving some color to this page. It's just like a little frame. Okay, so we're going to do the same thing on this page. And we're going to pull this down. And if you haven't used this YooHoo glue before, it, it is nice. Um, one thing is, you know, like it's a big stick, so um, it's hard to do like little things with it. But. Okay, so we're going to put this down here. On the page. Now you could stamp it on. That's what I was going to do, but then I thought, well, these pages are really pretty fragile and I don't want to tear them, if that makes sense. All right. So then I'm going to take and cut the excess off. So how many of you have done something like this where it's, oh, and I want to show you one other thing. Ah, don't let me forget. Cindy, you said you wanted to show one other thing that I just learned this week. And I'm telling you what, I can't believe I didn't know it. All right. All right. So then we've got this little window here. So that we're going to have another little window. We're just going to make a little window right here at the top. So let's just do that. And I'm not making it any particular shape, but I just want to make sure I get it in a certain area. So, And I don't care if it tears. It doesn't have to be perfect. Okay. All right. So then we're going to pull that out like that. Okay. All right. And we're going to go here. And go around here. All right. Now, on this sheet, I don't really want anything in the window because I'm going to put a, um, a, a I'm going to put something there. But I want this around it, right? So I'm just going to tear. Oh, let me do what I was going to show you. Is this a perfect time? All right. How many of you know masking tape? Uh, the masking tape trick. Anybody? Okay, so let's do it with the masking tape. So you just lay your masking tape. This is regular masking tape right off of the hardware shelf. Just tear you a little piece. You can tear multiple pieces if you want to. I'll just do this. And they don't have to be the same size. You know, they can be different sizes. Okay, so that's your masking tape. Then you just pull your masking tape off. 
This one's really sticking to this fragile paper. Let's see if it'll do it on here. I did it earlier. Maybe I pushed it down too hard. Like I said, we're just being real here. Okay. And look at that. Now this one did pull off some of the page itself. Let's see if we can get this one off without pulling the page itself. No. All right, I'm gonna show you on a different page that's not as old as this. This one is old. Anyway, it, it makes the imprint from the newsprint on it. All right. It's pretty cool. And we could add some color to that. It is one of the styles I plan to try. Yay! Okay, one thing too is we're going to do um, an altered book journal soon as well. And it looked like there were people that wanted both steampunk and... Okay, let me, let me do it with this other book. Let me just show you because this is tearing. Okay, this is just a regular book that I use a, as a book block from the book block I took out. So you just put your masking tape on there. <clears throat> of course, I've had my masking tape for a while. And you just pull it off. It's kind of like making your own washi in a way. It's the coolest thing. I think it's cool anyway. Have you guys done this? Yeah, you have or you haven't. Yeah, this it's cool. Um, but you can do it on anything. Like you could, if you wanted to do it on music, um, or you know, just, just anything. If you like to adding that, so it's kind of like, yeah. I just want to say it's kind of like adding your own washi. All right. So I'm gonna trim these ends. Here. We'll just leave that and then we'll do some color on it and then we'll do some, we'll do some, I don't know, embellishment. All right. It kind of makes it curl a little bit. All right, there we go. Let's put something on the back here so that it'll hold it stiff. Um, let's see, I have another, Oop, dropping stuff on the floor. Let's see what I have. Let's see. I have um, this page. I'll just put this on the back here to give it some stability. Um, let's see. Start it at the top. You guys enjoy this kind of stuff? I haven't, but I will now. <laughs> yeah, it's a pretty cool deal. Um, it's really neat and uh, I think the reason it just was so sticky on on those pages is they're just so old um, because they are very old. All right this will just help help the page be stronger. All right so let me trim this off this page. Just trying to make it the easiest possible. Um, because sometimes it's hard to figure out the easy way to do what you watch. <laughs> all right, so next, all you do is, of course I'm gonna go around the page here. All right, then what you want here is you're gonna decorate all around the, the window and then um, here you're going to also decorate or, or embellish the page, but then you want a focal point here. So like, it's kind of a frame. So if you wanted a flower there, 
Let's see what I have. I just got out a bunch of stuff, or a, a bird or a butterfly. Like I have some really pretty blue butterflies. Could just fit that. It's kind of big though. Let's do something smaller. Maybe bird. Let's see. Have a pretty flower. Let's see what I have here. This is all blues that I'm looking through over to my left, which you cannot see. Um, let's put a flower in there that is pretty. Let's do this one. Okay, so we want our flower to be here. So, um, just going to take this off. And the, the easiest way to make sure you get it where you want it in the window, of course, is, oh, I did two of them, is to kind of lay this down here. And then you can see it through. And it looks like I did two pages, so I really am going to have to do something on that page, too. But then just start embellishing your page uh, and build to it. So, like, for instance, if I wanted to put, uh, let's see. Oh, this is really pretty. This is pretty, right? So, let's cut her out a little bit. It doesn't have to be too, too perfect. Okay, so, we've got that. And then we need, um, let's do so maybe a butterfly up here. And then some flowers down here. And then, no, we just need the one butterfly, I think. All right, so something like that. So let's do that. So can you see okay? Okay, what are you asking? I don't know if that's uh, okay. Okay. Yeah, you just let me know what you guys need. Okay, so I'm just going to um, put some florals down here and then I'm gonna add the little lady um, and I think actually think um, some lace would be pretty too or a doily on this page let me see if I have something right here Oh, <laughs> Donna, you are moving, aren't you? How soon are you moving? I'm going to have to keep up with your address so I don't lose, lose you. All right, so I think, um, let's see, what else can we put on there? I think it needs burlap or lace or something. It needs something else. <clears throat> But what happens for me is I get working and then I just keep going. Like I don't want to stop. I almost think hmm, she needs, um, let's see, let's try this lace here. Like right here. I might let it hang off for a charm. So let's just do a little strip of blue here. And that's going to need something on it, too. All right. And then I feel like also it needs a little bit more, but anyway. 
All right, so then we need something here. I like that tassel. That's cool. Let's see. What do we want to put in there? How about the birds? We could have birds flying. Birds. I need another bird. Those are not flying birds. We could have... Um, Let's see. I can't see this one here. That would work. What do you think? Can you see it? I don't know if you can see it. <laughs> All right, so we're just going to do this. And then we're going to do this one. <clears throat> You could add um, something else down here, like if you wanted to. Let's see. What do we have? Everything. Oh, this would be pretty to add. <clears throat> Not sure. How about, though, well, we could do that on another page, I guess. See, now I have this extra page which I didn't intend to have, but we'll see. Might, maybe I'll just leave it. All right, then on this page, we definitely need some additional decor for the, I think it needs like a pocket at the bottom down here, or uh, maybe some lace, maybe a lace pocket. It would be nice if it was, um, if it was, oh, wait, 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 let's do this. Let's put, let's put some tracing paper. Okay, let's see. Is this one? You guys use tracing paper much? could glue this to it, right? Doesn't that look good? And it's okay. All right, so let's do, let's do this glue on it. Oh, stay, stay, stay tracing paper. Just a little embellishing. And then just don't want anything too tall in there. I'll put her in there. She's pretty. She's pretty. You guys are finding lots of blue and yellow emojis. Okay, so let's put her. It needs a bow, I feel like. Hmm. I don't think I have a bow. But we could put a word. How about hope? I've got to get these out. These words. I like these little words. All right. Is Sheila on tonight? Hi, Quilty. I haven't seen Sheila tonight. Oops. 
Okay, I don't know. Anyway, that's the thing of it. It's just pretty cool where you have that peekaboo kind of in there. So, yeah, go home. Anyway, there we go. It's not done, but um, a lot's done on it. What do you guys think? Yeah, I can see Sheila. Hi, it's glue time. So anyway, so much that could actually, you know, like really be done. Um, and you can make it your own. I mean, really and truly, just keep going, make it. Just do what you like. Anyway, waterfall pages. Make sure they don't glue together. A peekaboo. I'm still working on it, but I still need to do something in the center um, to do the, you know, like the middle and then keep going. But anyway, yeah, I like the lace on there. That adds to it a lot. And with it being an envelope journal, you don't want it to be too super thick just because, you know, it's paper. All right. How about a game? You guys ready for a game tonight? Got a mess here, don't I? Got a little mess. I just got stuff everywhere. Thank you. I like the waterfall too. That's a fun one to do. It's a really fun one to do. Um, all right. So um, tonight we're going to do draw uh, the cap, uh, crafty drawing, crafty drawings tonight. So it'll be fun. I did want to remind you of the all, what an all looks like. Um, I like to use wax thread. You don't have to. Um, someone asked me about embroidery floss. You know how embroidery floss comes like six strands and a lot of times when we do cross stitch we pull them apart. If you were sewing a journal I would not pull them apart. I would sew them with the whole thing. What is glue time? Oh it's glue time is, is somebody that's on with us. That's her YouTube handle yeah so anyway so tonight um, our drawings are all gonna be related to junk journals tonight so that'll give you a heads up anyways all right and then um, these are the prize it's okay <laughs> um, and all of it is ephemera. Every one of them is some ephemera. And I took a whole pack and split it between the three. So each one has about 10 or so um, in it. All right. Okay. So here we go. Are you ready? Are you ready to get your guests on? Everybody ready for a game? Winds are crazy, Donna. I don't know. We'll be safe. All right, everybody. Don't forget to push the like if you don't mind. That's helpful. Okay, I'm dropping stuff on the floor. All right. I didn't make any real pockets for this journal. I'm going to have to do that. Okay. Uh, game time so i'm gonna draw something and you try to guess what it is all right okay that's <laughs> not very good <laughs> i wish i could <laughs> Oh, also, just, you know, so you guys are, you can see me. I'm just laughing at myself. But um, um, 
I am going to be doing a tassel for a tassel a day with Creating with Jovi this month, too. So watch out for that. Yes, it is an all. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Uh, okay. So we got the first one pretty fast. You guys are pretty fast on that. Okay. Very good. Very good. Okay, next. I'm drawing. I'm very quiet when I'm drawing. Uh oh, I just dropped something else. <laughs> uh, a bulb of garlic. That was really close. A no sucker. It did look like a no sucker. <laughs> um, Debbie Walker wants the drawings. Debbie, I just am sending you those other... Um, other ones too <clears throat> that you wanted the um, guess the ladder ones yes it is notebook paper notebook paper yes all right Debbie Walker notebook paper you guys are really good at this guessing game of course, I'm not an excellent drawer, but, you know, you kind of get it. All right, here we go. I don't know. Do you think you know what it is? <laughs> Kind of far away, huh? Let me scooch it in a little bit more. There you go. Probably better. <clears throat> hey, Debbie Nelson. Ah, oh, yes, you're getting a, it's a thread. Yes, you guys are really, really smart. I, t I do believe this is the smartest group of people ever. Okay, next. I'm not even pausing him. I am just like going to the next one. Okay, all right. Um, let's see if you can get this without the ad added, but I'm going to leave room. I don't know if you can tell what that is. I know what it is. Okay, let me just keep going. Let's see. Um, okay. Um, Okay. Uh, yes, it's a pocket. <laughs> okay. uh, all right. Yes, it's a pocket. It, it did look like a funnel. So I tried to draw a shirt so you wouldn't know what it was. Uh, no, not tidy ladies. <laughs> Okay, uh, let's see. I have two more. All right. Um, let's see what the best way to do this one is. Well, this one's easy. Here, I'll just do this one. Okay. 
This is just an example of this one. Oh, yeah? <laughs> uh, I don't know. Guy has very short arm. Yeah, it's three-quarter length shirt. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Caroline. Let's see you on. Yes, buttons. Yes, buttons. Um, okay, we got one more. You ready? <clears throat> okay, I think I've done this one before for you, but we'll see if I can. Um, Um, I don't know if that really looks like it. What does it look like? Maybe from the side, it doesn't look like it. It looks like an alligator. It is not an alligator. This is, um, yes, this is like a bottle. That's awesome. I need the color. I just very pale. It's a stapler. You guys are amazing. Yay. Yay. So next week, um, we will have a guest unless something comes up. So I'm looking forward to having Carla. And uh, Debbie, you do want these drawings? You do? Okay. All right. Let's draw some winners. Let me get... Yeah, let's back up just a little bit. There we go. Let's see. Get a little post-it note so I can get these out to you. Let's see who's going to spin to win. Let's spin to win. Spin to win. Yeah, <laughs> it did look like that. All right. Uh, Denise Shaw. Denise Shaw. You haven't won in a while, have you, Denise? Pretty cool. These are fun bags, too. I'll tell you, these are really fun bags. And then Angela Pruitt. Yay, Angela. That's awesome. You will have fun with these, um, too. Okay, and then one more. And it is... Joyce. Hey, Joyce. Where are you from, Joyce? Joyce Demoli? Joyce. Okay, if I don't have your address, make sure you send your address to prizes at cindyalewis.com. That way I can email, I can mail you your prize. So I'll need your address. And if you send it to prizes at cindyalewis.com, I'll get that. Congratulations, everybody. Everybody got the address? All right. So let me come back here. Thank you guys for joining me tonight. I'm so excited every Tuesday to get to spend some time with you. Um, make sure that you go to the uh, April 1st video and check out the challenge. It is going to be a fun month. Also, watch my videos for um, hitting giveaways. Just saying. And, um, and we're going to just have a good time this month with some inspiration and uh, all kinds of fun stuff. So thanks so much for watching. Yes, Angela, you just sent me yours. I've got it. So, oh, bye, Alice. Get to feeling better. All right. If you need anything, let me know. Um, I do work, but, you know, let me know. Uh, just kidding. <laughs> Um, you know what? I feel like you're my family. So whatever I can do to make you feel better, I'd be happy to do that. Anyway, spread in some sunshine and uh, have a great rest of your week.